So in this video I will show you this simple trick in getting extremely high armor on gear which will basically make you invincible to certain enemies. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So this method was shown to me by my pal on discord but after taking a little peek around the original upload was shown by a dude called Mexus and although this is slightly different to his method it's still the same kind of thing so credit to this dude for sure and his channel can be found linked down below. So this method allows you to craft away and create some amazing armor pieces which will see you being basically a walking tank being able to sponge tons of damage. So what's needed is you basically need to be realistically a level 30 to make the most out of this but you can still do this at a much lower level it doesn't really matter and it will help no matter what level you are in terms of if you're struggling if your armor's too low. So to make the most out of this so to speak you need to be at least a level 18 in technical ability and have the edge run artisan perk unlocked. This is only needed for one specific method in crafting legendary armor pieces. Again for people not this high of a level yet in technical ability you can use this method today on non legendary pieces. So minimum guys should really have grease monkey or true craftsman selected. Also cost optimization helps here too as it saves you components in crafting as well as 200% efficiency. Again these ain't needed but they do help. Then what you need guys are basically armor blueprints in which you can craft. Legendary are obviously the best, epic then rares. And again like I said those three perks within that technical ability crafting tab are needed to craft corresponding items. Legendary, epics and rares. So once you've got those it's down to you finding crafting spec armor pieces. Legendaries are obviously the rarest but multiple clothes shops across the city do sell them with demonstrations on screen now. If you go to these and they don't have any of what you need being rare epic or legendaries skip time by 24 hours in game and eventually stock will change and it ain't just these clothes shops multiple clothes shops across night city will sell you crafting blueprints or clothes now you can by the way always use looty gear you already have but what you are looking for is a maximum mod slot on said pieces of gear no matter what it is especially if you are doing this with legendary gear you really want to make sure it's as good as it can get so four mud slots if possible is what you want also guys i do have videos coming to my channel of locations of legendary gear so if you are new around here make sure you sub so you don't miss those videos or if you wanna as by the time you've watched this video there may already be guys on my channel so do check it out but yeah on with the video it's important you have the best armor you can get for your current level now in terms of crafting to get that armor piece as you can see the example i'm doing on screen now i'm using this biker vest although its armor isn't as high as i've seen it doesn't really matter as this is just demonstrating how this works for you guys so i've crafted this which you can see has four mod slots and yes the edge runner artisan perk is only needed if you are planning on crafting legendary armor pieces if you plan on looting them or buying them you don't need the edge runner artisan perk so for instance let's say we have found amazing gear which has max mud slots on them all although it's clear i haven't on this character yet but again that doesn't matter let's just pretend we have it's now all about crafting the best armor mod and that is the armadillo mod now this is actually very easily obtained and it's from the mission you can see me running to on the screen now so you will see the location of where you get this crafting spec so do what you gotta do people So once you have this guys it's simple craft away 
Now these can only be crafted into a max of an epic version. And I believe you won't craft epic versions until you hit around a level of 30. If you ain't that level yet, don't waste materials trying to get epic versions. As although I do think you craft them, they are as rare as heck. Like I said, once you get to around a level 30, a 30 plus, they seem to be way more common. Now me being a high enough level, I will craft away trying to get as many epics as possible. And yeah, I will state for people thinking, yeah, you can dupe them. You can dupe the epic mod. So craft one, if you get one, dupe away. But I have seen people state that they are having issues with these nuts stacking on armor pieces. So it's why I've opted to just craft them only within this tutorial. Even though I do think whatever method you choose in getting these, Cyberpunk is Cyberpunk and Bogs are apparent. So they may stack for you, they may not. So from here guys, just craft away trying to get those epic armadillo mods. Once you get as many as you want to use, which I will stay, I'd probably use other mods on offer within this game than just using all armadillo mods, but that is up to you. But yeah, once you get as many as you need, it's really as simple as this guys. Apply them to those armors. And as you can see from this demo, my armor is over that 3k mark and most of my gear at the moment isn't even that great with max armor mod spots. So you can imagine how tanky one indeed could be with the right armor. Now what I will say is obviously a certain few materials are needed for this, which are common item components and uncommon item components in terms of crafting the armadillo mod. But I'm pretty certain you've got a ton of these like everybody else I know. And also what I will say is, and it's what I plan to do, if you use those crafted epic armadillo mods on said gear, in which you may consider using something else in the future, it's probably wise that you have the waste nut, want nut perk selected. As dismantling these items will give you said mods back, so you can in turn apply them elsewhere when the time is right. But yeah guys, it is as simple as that. Get that armadillo crafting spec mod, make sure you have said corresponding perk selected within that technical ability crafting tab to craft armadillo mods and then apply them to said gear. It will make your character a ton tankier and it will help you out. Again guys, videos coming on legendary loot locations so if you're in need of decent gear to apply these armadillo mods to, stay tuned. Or by the time you watch this video, they're probably already on my channel so do check it out. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.